The factoring by grouping method starts by putting parentheses around the first two terms and the last two terms. So once you've done that, now you look inside each group uh, and see what you can factor out uh, that's in common. In the green group, uh, both of those numbers are divisible by a 6. And then you can also note that there's a c to the third power and a c to the second power. So we can take out c squared. That's the highest one that would come, up, uh, that would come out of both of them. So look carefully at what I have uh, written in, in, in black. Because when you factor something out of a parenthesis, you write what you can divide out of both of the terms in common out here. And then what's le left over goes inside. So when I divided this term by 6c squared, the 6 canceled out. And this, we had 3 c's divided by 2 c's. That left me with just 1 c. Same thing over here. I was dividing this by a 6 c squared because that's what I saw in common. So 54 divided by 6 gave me 9. c squared divided by c squared gave me 1. So no need to write times 1 there. So let's, uh, let's do the same thing with the red parentheses. Actually, there's nothing you can take out of the red parentheses. Uh, but for the factor by grouping method, you've always got to divide out something. So... Uh, both of those numbers are divisible by a 1. There was no, uh, in, in this one, there was a C and a 9. There's nothing in common, so we just divided out a 1. So we can say we took something out of it. Okay. And when you factor by grouping, this should always happen. <coughs> check out, sorry. Uh, check, out, uh, check out the black parentheses. They're the same. So you're going to factor out the, bra the black parentheses. And what's left over goes on the inside of a new parentheses. And there, now you're done factoring by grouping. Uh, and to check your work, you could take this parentheses and multiply it to this parentheses. And when you do that, if you uh, multiply that out, you get what you started with. So we completed our, our objective.